If we don't test you for gestational diabetes, then we can't treat you for gestational diabetes. And there are known benefits for treating gestational diabetes. Treating gestational diabetes has been shown to decrease the rate of serious neonatal complications like perinatal demise, shoulder dystocia, and birth trauma. And importantly for the pregnant patient, it also decreases the rate of developing preeclampsia. Patients who were treated for gestational diabetes also had lower rates of C-section delivery, a lower rate of shoulder dystocia, and a lower rate of hypertensive disorders. It's also important to touch on the fact that there are benefits to having a medicalized birth, especially when there are known complications to your pregnancy like gestational diabetes. Compared to expectant management after 40 weeks, an induction in the 39th week has been shown to decrease the rate of shoulder dystocia. About 10% for the expectant management group versus the 1.4 for the induction group. There's also a reduction in the rate of cesarean delivery if induced within the 39th week. Now, does that mean that you have to be induced in the 39th week if you have diet controlled gestational diabetes? Absolutely not. The recommendations for delivery is between 39 and 0 and 40 and 6. And really anywhere in there is appropriate as long as you've been appropriately counseled. Part of that counseling is talking about the risks and the benefits of both induction and expectant management. It's our job, me and you actually as birth educators, to really give our patients that full information rather than demonizing testing that's been shown to be beneficial and treatment that's also been shown to be beneficial.